I really love budget guitars. I love buying budget guitars and I love buying budget guitar parts to modify them, to make them really, really playable instruments. But I also like them to fit a certain aesthetic need that I'm constantly looking for. And in light of all that, I figured uh, I'd make a video on one of my oldest guitars in my collection, probably my main guitar. It's the Godan SD22. I've had this guitar for over a decade. It was my first serious electric guitar. Um, I bought it because I just started touring with uh, my first serious band and I wanted a reliable guitar and boy did this guitar deliver. You are probably not going to find this guitar brand new anymore because I don't think Godan makes them. Uh, Godan's price range has unfortunately gone up a lot. Uh, they, they, they are definitely starting from the mid-tier now. Uh, when I bought this guitar back in the day, it was around the $450 range. And this was in India, so you got to add the taxes and all. And the final price was around $450. So now, if you look on Reverb or Facebook Marketplace, you should find it within $300 to $400, uh, which is, in my opinion, a, a great, great deal. Straight out of the box, this guitar brand new never had to be set up. This was one of the most remarkable things for me. This has only happened with me for one other guitar, uh, which uh, cost like $900. Uh, this guitar cost near a third of that price and delivered on the same level, which was insane to me. Uh, this guitar is basically a mix of a Les Paul and a Strat in a great way, and I'm gonna go over all of that right now. So it has a 24 and 3 quarter scale length, Gibson scale length, and it also has a 12 inch radius, which is the Gibson radius. However, it is a bolt-on guitar, just like a Strat, and it has a six point uh, tremolo system, like a Strat. It has uh, two single coils, uh, one in the neck, and it has a single coil in the middle, and like a Les Paul, it has a humbucker in the bridge. Uh, when it comes to the tuners, uh, these are what Godan calls their uh, sealed high ratio tuners. They're not locking tuners, but they are pretty stable. Then they actually put a GraphTech tusk nut on this one, which is, again, it's a small upgrade, but it really affects your tone. Uh, for three hundred dollars, you're not going to find that in most guitars now. It's going to be plastic. So it's a GraphTech nut, and the saddles on this thing are also GraphTech. So the tuning stability on this guitar is superb. Now the frets are nickel, and uh, I have worn them down. The notes have started dying out, especially on the higher registers. So I'm probably looking at a refret, which I'd be happy to do for this guitar. Um, I'd like to talk about what modifications I made to this guitar. Uh, I changed the bridge pickup, which was a uh, Godan GH2, I believe is what it was called. I love the neck pickup a lot for this guitar. That's where I primarily play most of the time. I love neck pickups, single coil neck pickups in general. And this one just ticked all the boxes for me. It had really round, warm tones. It wasn't... Uh, super low output so it handled the crunch sounds really well but the clean sounds are just oh chef's kiss they just uh sounded so well especially if you roll down the tone knob a little bit took off the highs a little bit played some like jazzy solos amazing stuff for the bridge pickup where it kind of failed to deliver for me was the fact that it was too low output for me it didn't give me that breakup that i was looking for with the crunch settings of the higher gain settings the distortion never sounded saturated enough for me. So I'm, I'm a plug and play kind of a guy. I love things sounding good right out of the box. I kind of don't like tweaking. And I really had to tweak a lot to get good high gain tones out of it. So I ended up uh, switching it up for a DiMarzio X2N, which is a high output pickup. Not an expensive pickup, but boy does it deliver. And I also got a series parallel switch installed on this guitar which is a great mod you can do for any of your guitars. And the only other modification that I did was that I switched out 
the tone and volume pot so I just switched them out so I have the tone pot near me because that's what I use a lot more and the volume pot is far away from me so I don't hit that with my arm so much other than that this guitar is a hundred percent stock uh, I want to talk a little bit about the tremolo system so it's great and it's also not so great at the same time uh, the, the tuning stability again is 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 I have no questions about it. It's uh, very stable. However, the tremolo arm doesn't stay in one position for its optimal usability. So when it's like this, I can get the most range out of it. So, But then I do another screw like this and it's actually in place. It switches more to that of a vibrato bar and then you hear the the spring the, the spring squeaking as well which i'm not a fan of but it doesn't you know transfer through the amp so it doesn't really matter i guess but the weird quirk with this bridge is with the bends and uh, this was a thing i discovered um which was that with fixed bridge systems like a Telecaster, you can do certain country style bends where you let your lower octave uh, string resonate and then you do these do these bends on the higher ones while that, that note's going on. Well, with, with the tremolo system, what happens is that when you're letting something ring and you're doing a, be a bend, it pulls the bridge forward and it's gonna make this go out of tune, so. Bet you hear that, right? So you can't do those country bends on a Strat. However, with this guitar, when I lock this tremolo arm, it actually locks the bridge in place as well. So, you can. So you can do that, which is, uh, which works for me. So yeah, so, that, so that's a nice quirk with this guitar. I haven't really seen it in a whole bunch of other guitars. So let me know if uh, these exist. Um, apart from that, uh, the neck itself has a nice uh, satin finish that I've worn down a lot over the years as well. And uh, it's, uh, it's still satiny, but it's a little bit more glossy in certain parts. Um, but it's very comfortable neck. It's, it's, it's smaller, def it's definitely smaller than a uh, tele neck. For sure uh, and uh, I'd say it's like a smaller size strat neck and it's super comfortable for me because I have smaller hands so it, it's just it just fits my needs so well so yeah that's just a short little uh, video dedicated to my main guitar uh, highly recommend picking up one of these if you ever see them uh, and uh, I hope you have fun with them if you, if you do find one cheers mm -hmm.